Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at how to achieve a lemon pound cake. It's quite easy, and I'm going to show you how I put this all together. It's really focused on the lemon, so you'll see the lemon appearing all throughout, especially at the end. We'll make a nice little glaze for it. So, let's get into this video and waste no more time doing it. and thanks for joining me for yet another video in this presentation we're going to be making a lemon cake now to make a lemon cake you're going to need about three lemons and that is going to give you you're going to need about a third of a cup of um, lemon zest four eggs half a teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of i have him one teaspoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of lemon extract as well as three quarter cups of lemon juice three quarter cup of buttermilk two and a half cups of white sugar as well as two sticks of butter which is half of this you're also going to be needing three cups of flour so first thing first uh, we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting I'm going to be using an uh, automatic uh, mixer I could either use this one or my hand mixer but I am going to make it easy on myself I'm going to put in half of this butter in there as well as the full two cups of sugar first and then eventually I'll add the next half a cup but yeah so I'm going to put this to churn in the mixer hey guys so now that my butter and sugar has been creamed for 10 minutes I'm going to be adding in my one third of a cup of lemon zest I'm actually going to be leaving back a tiny, like a half a teaspoon's worth of it, like this much. So I'll be leaving back a teaspoon out of this one third of a cup, as well as we're going to slowly start adding one egg at a time. So I'm going to whisk that in and I'll show you what that looks like. But I'm going to be adding all four of these eggs into this mixture one at a time. So to our three cups of flour now, we're going to be adding our tablespoon of baking powder. We're gonna be adding our teaspoon of salt. And we're also gonna be adding our half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're gonna be giving these ingredients a mix to incorporate a whisk. So after mixing in our flour with our salt, baking powder, and baking soda, and that's, you put that aside, then you go towards your buttermilk and what we're going to do out of our three quarter cup of lemon juice we're going to be adding one quarter of this and we're also going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of lemon extract so guys we're going to alternatively add our flour and our mixture like our buttermilk mixture what we have here with the lemon juice and the lemon and vanilla extract so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start first with our flour so we're gonna start by putting some of our flour into this mixture it doesn't have to be a measured amount you just put maybe a cup first so to your first cup of flour, you're going to start a whisking on this till this all disappears a little bit. And then you're going to add from your buttermilk, you're going to add a quarter of it and then so forth. So you're going to add more flour, more buttermilk, more flour, more buttermilk, ending with flour. And then we will hand mix the rest in into our bowls. By the way, I have two cake pans. They're eight inch cake pans that have been buttered and floured. 
and they're ready. So this has been whisked. The cake has been mixed in nicely. I'm just going to give it a final clean up around the sides and then we're going to be transferring them into our greased and floured cake pans. I have two of them, they're eight inches and I'm going to be um, putting the batter into there next but I'm going to give this a quick hand mix and clean off the sides. So guys, the <clears throat> I just literally hand mixed it in for about 30 seconds. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be splitting this batter into two into these cake pans. So guys, I have my two cake pans ready to go into the oven. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees. I'm going to set a 45 minute timer, but this could take upwards of an hour possibly, but we'll check it at 45 minutes. So I'm going to set a 45 minute timer and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to place these in and I'll be back to show you what they look like after 45 so minutes. So we're going to start off with a third of a cup of icing sugar into a bowl and then we have our half cup of lem squeezed lemon juice that we left back we're gonna be adding that into here as well as we're gonna add in our teaspoon of lemon zest that we left back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk these items together so we're gonna go in with another one third of a cup of icing sugar just because we have not been able to get like the glaze that we're looking for it's just not thick enough so we're gonna whisk in this other third of a cup and we'll see what we get at the end but we're gonna mix this in really nicely so that it's a smooth consistency hey y'all so i just wanted to come back and let you know what the final result was so basically with regards to the glaze for after the cake is baked, we used one cup of confectioner's sugar, icing sugar, to one teaspoon of lemon zest, to a cup of lemon juice. And then we whisk until everything disintegrates and then you get a nice thicker. Hey guys, so I just took the cakes out. It's been a total of 45 minutes. I'm just gonna be checking to see if it is cooked or if we need some more cooking time in there. My grains on my thing look pretty dry. Yeah, so I think these, this particular one is cooked. Yeah, this stick comes out dry, so we're ready to go with so it. So I have my, these cakes are hot at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just re, vitalizing or remixing my um, lemon glaze that I made earlier and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start spooning this onto here and we're not gonna remove the cake until it's um, cooled down of course but I like to let the lemon glaze set on it. So guys, I just finished putting some of the glaze or most of the glaze up top. I left back a tiny little bit to do per slice because I do like to put it on there as well. Um, the sort of two, the two of them are glazed. I usually don't cut my cakes hot. However, I do want a slice of this. <laughs> Always let your cakes cool. Don't follow me. So I'm gonna be taking out a slice of cake. Hey guys, so I'm just back to show you the cake. It is super hot still. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. I did want to have a slice while it was hot. So I cut out a slice out of the cake. So here we go is our nice sponge cake. It's super soft and tender. Yeah. So this is our lemon cake. This one actually got a nice little hint of the lemon color. And yeah, it's ready to eat.